Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. It is a beautiful hot Monday here in South Carolina, but that's okay. I like hot weather, so I don't mind. Um, everything is just so pretty right now. All the grass is green and lush, and this year the crepe myrtles are unusually beautiful. Everybody has noticed it. As you ride around, I've seen purple, I've seen watermelon, I've seen white. I've seen pink, I mean, just about every color you can imagine um, in the crepe myrtles. And they are so brilliant this year and just something that we've enjoyed because nearly everybody has one in their yard and then you see them everywhere. So it's just a beautiful sight to see as you ride around and see God's creation. So Kayleen's going to show you. That's the one right at the edge of my driveway. And I have two in the back that are beautiful also. One is a white one and the other one is the same color as that. So it's just something pretty. Um, today we are going to make something very simple. Everybody loves a dessert. And I, I tell you, on my Sunday lunches, I always have two desserts. And it just depends on what I have the ingredients for a lot of times. And so, that determines a lot of times, but then sometimes it's just whatever I know people want. But this is a favorite of everybody's. This is lemon condensed milk pie. Simple as it gets. All right, we're gonna have two cans of condensed milk. And I use the Walmart brand. It's good. You wanna tell them what you preheated? What you preheated your oven to? Oh yeah. All right, and while we're getting this out, I've already preheated my oven to 350 degrees. You don't have to cook this long, but it helps it to set. So get all of this condensed milk out of here. Okay. Now, next thing is it calls for six egg yolks. That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But that's what it takes. Y'all, my husband's father loved this pie. Every time they came to eat, I had to have lemon icebox pie. That was his very favorite. So when you know it's somebody's favorite, you always want to have it. Okay, so just dump that right into your condensed milk. Get acquainted with one another. Pretty easy. And you just want to mix it until it's well blended. So see, you don't see any kind of egg yolk floating around in any there. And so now, turn your mixer on kind of low and start adding your lemon juice. Now, don't pour your lemon juice right in there because sometimes one cup of lemon juice. laugh about this. This is just a already made graham cracker crust and it says two extra servings. Well, we don't consider it two extra servings. We just consider it extra large servings. So my family loves dessert just like I do. So that's always on our menu. So we put this right here and see really you almost have to have this big um, crust to take care of that. Now we're going to put this on one of our cookie sheets and then we'll put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Let's 
Okay, we're gonna let that cook and we'll be right back. a few seconds left and when I put something on time I let it run the exact time so when this thing beeps we'll open this oven door and we'll take this out and then we'll go to our next step so oh there it is right there now all right so let's take this out whoa isn't that beautiful that looks yummy already all right set that up there we're going to take this over and put it on our cooling rack because this will need to cool before we put it in the refrigerator. So you would like, it really needs to be refrigerated for a couple of hours so it gets nice and cold and sets really well. And when you serve this, the best thing to do is just to put that ready whip right out of the can and put the dollop. <laughs> now, this was kind of a change of plan today. This is not exactly what I had planned to do today, but because of not being able to find some of my ingredients on something else, I changed my mind. And that's a woman's prerogative. So I use the imitation lemon juice like you saw. Normally, I would use Minute Maid, and this is a frozen lemon juice. So, I had it in my freezer, but I didn't have time for it to thaw out. So, just keep that in mind when you're making it, because this gives such a, a, a better flavor. It's like a tart flavor. So, it just, um, it just makes it taste better. So, we have this already. Now, I wanted to show you this dish. Y'all know how I am about dishes and all um, for my cooking, but this is for my kitchen. My daughter went to an estate sale this past Saturday and she saw this and the minute she saw it, she knew I would love it. Now y'all, if it was in an estate sale, this person, you know, had used this for a long time and I'm sure it holds lots and lots of memories. But you know what? It's going to hold a lot more. It's a cookie jar. And we love cookies. We love chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies. That's two of our favorites. And so I have a, a sugar, uh, I mean a chocolate chip cookie recipe way back when I first started video. And, and so we'll revive that one so you can see how to make the chocolate chip cookies and mine are like kind of the soft chocolate chips and everybody just loves them. They just, I've made a zillion of them and that will certainly hold a bunch of them. And so it'll just be one of those things that we'll cherish and, and I'm sure that the person that had it probably kept it full of cookies for children, grandchildren, visitors, just whoever came in. And so I always have a pound cake on my counter for anybody who comes in. You come in, we'll have a slice of pound cake. We'll have a big old glass of sweet iced tea, which is the table wine of the South. And so, um, just make it just a Southern thing. So, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and I hope you have a good rest of the day today. Everybody, shine for Jesus.